Hey guys, welcome back. And today I'm going to show you how to install um, STL, Simple Direct Media Layer. And it's sort of, it's a, it's a graphic toolkit that can be used with, in conjunction with C++ to make um, little programs. And since we have our trusty C++, this is very easy. It's, you can't believe how easy it is. So I'm going to go here in DevC++, I'm going to scroll over to Tools, and then scroll down until you see Package Manager. Oops, this is a bit too big. So here's my Package Manager, and the first thing we want to check is that you don't have an SDL uh, in here already, in your DevC++ packages. And I, I check here, and I don't have SDL because I just deleted this before this tutorial so I could show you guys how it works. Uh, I'm just that nice. So, I don't have SDL, so this will work perfectly. I have other packages here, see here. Uh, OpenGL, GLUT, whatever. It's okay. So, now that I made sure that I don't have any like prior versions of SDL that will screw up the whole process, all I have to do is click on Tools, click on check for updates and packages and here a dialog box comes up called web update and very importantly uh, the first uh, choice here is select devpack server and you want to scroll from devc++ primary devpack server to the second one devpacks.org community devpacks and now you click on the bottom check for updates and it will download the uh, available updates and then on this groups see this group scroll bar you wanna click on this little arrow scroll down until you see SDL there it is SDL and here are all the versions of SDL that they offer um, I prefer I just tried 1.2.13 and it it's glitchy and the guy who made it was probably not awake. So I recommend downloading 1.2.12 so 1.2.12 and I, it will have all of the stuff that we need for my future tutorials so it's I recommend this and if you want you can also download SDL image but we'll, we'll download it later when once we need it so if you want to do it now go ahead. Um, so I click on the checkbox next to SDL and click download selected and it's downloading it and see this scroll bar moving it says the updates you have selected have been downloaded now they will be installed okay and it comes up with this installation wizard which is very straightforward you click on next scroll down click on next here's the GNU public license if you want to read it on your free time click install it will install it and just like that so fast lightning fast so now you click on close and now it's installed so to check if it's working you go to file new project and it's under multimedia scroll down SDL and let's call this uh, test SDL or something okay and I'm gonna save it here to SDL tutorials but you can make your own folder and it will be test SDL uh, test SDL dev save and it comes up with a default file which we're not gonna examine what it has right now the only thing you need you can notice that if you go to project options if you go to uh, parameters it added some parameters to the linker uh, link SDL, link SDL main, we'll go over these later and the compiler added some additional parameters which is nice, which is what we need so it's a Win32 GUI so it won't show a console we can change it to the console and then it will show one but okay so we have this code and just to see if it works we're gonna click on execute, compile and run save our main C++ file save it and there it is if you see these flashing rectangles that means SDL has successfully installed on your computer and you can now see flashing rectangles 
amazing. Is it wasn't that easy? I think it was. So now all of you have SDL list installed on your computers, hopefully. So for those of you who don't have Dev C++, you have to go onto Chrome, go to uh, look up SDL, and then you'd have you'd have to download it here. Download this uh, SDL. Uh, oh, so this is the documentation. Uh, no, we want uh, download SDL. Here it is. Source. Uh, Runtime, right? We want we want development libraries. So we we download these development libraries. If you have Visual C plus plus these ones, etc., 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 and then you just you use the same linker options, which I'll show you next time, and you can also get it to run. But if you're using Dev C plus plus, like all the cool guys are, like me, uh, then it's very simple. Just go to check updates and manage check updates and packages, download the STL package and you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this little how-to and I hope you come back when I start doing the actual Dev C++, the actual STL tutorials and looking forward to it. See you guys. Bye. Hey guys, sorry, uh, one more thing that I forgot while doing the video. Uh, this the note says the program will require SDL.dll to be in your uh, in your program's directory, so you just have to add that to your program's directory. In my case, I added the uh, Dev C++ DLL directory into the path, so I don't have to worry about that. But I'll show you how to uh, show you guys how to add it to your um, to your destination folder. So I go to my computer, local disk, uh, dev c++, and here in the uh, bin, right, uh, in the bin folder, oops, there we go, in the bin folder we scroll down and we see sdl.dll and we click copy and then we go back and click on where our file is and then you just paste it into this file into this folder sorry and now you have sdl.dll in in your um, folder so now this should run we execute compile and run and the application runs sorry for that mistake for me because I already had sdl.dll so I thought it didn't require it but if you need it just uh, put it into the, the folder and have fun. See you again. Bye.